The Weather Service is calling this a cold and unsettled weekend here in the east, but in places from the Carolinas to Maine, hit by big, early, and in some cases, record snowfalls, that may be an understatement. Tonight, freeze warnings are up from parts of Alabama into Pennsylvania on the heels of a weather system that's moved up the coast, dumping snow, dropping temperatures, and leaving more than 110,000 electricity customers in the dark in six states. As we can see on a live radar image at this hour, it is northern New England feeling the brunt of this winter preview performance. A foot of heavy wet snow has already fallen over parts of Maine, and that's where we begin tonight. NBC meteorologist Dylan Dreyer is in Bangor. Good evening, Dylan. Good evening, Lester. It's not unusual to see snow in November. This is Maine, after all. But to pick up a foot of snow like we already have on the ground, well, that's more typical of late December. This is all part of a pre-winter storm that has wreaked havoc up and down the East Coast. Maine is looking more like December than the middle of autumn. The snow began falling just as daylight saving time was ending, and it's still going strong piling up on roads and reducing visibility to less than a quarter mile in some areas. It would never have occurred to me to put my snow tires on before November 2nd. The temperature has been hovering around 33 degrees all day today. That means the water content in this snow is high. So this is a really heavy, wet snow that puts tremendous pressure on the trees and power lines. And not to mention people's patience. You can come out like maybe every hour and every time you come out, it's like you haven't been out at all yet. Just you can't tell where you stopped or where you ended last time. By later tonight, some areas will see a foot or more of snow. Winter also came early in Massachusetts today. Snow blanketed the home of the New England Patriots. Coastal towns like Situate dodged the snow, but were pummeled by heavy rain, wind, and strong surf. Cold winds gusting up to 40 miles per hour made for a chilly run during today's New York City Marathon. And the cold air stretched down to Florida, bringing record cold to Miami, Daytona Beach, and Orlando. This is the same system that flooded the shores of Lake Michigan in Chicago on Friday and dumped record early snow from Georgia to the Carolinas. The Weather Channel's Mike Seidel. Here at Sugar Mountain Ski Resort, they had their second earliest opening on record. Skiers and snowboarders hit the slopes as the snow guns roared. As much as 22 inches of snow piled up. Great for some, but others feel it's too much too soon. It's way too early. It's only November 2nd. <laughs> Give me another month. Now, it has been snowing hard here all day long, but take a look and you'll see that this storm system is going to exit New England overnight. In fact, by early tomorrow morning, most of the falling snow will be long gone. Now, this storm is going to produce about 9 to 12 inches of snow in parts of down east Maine, some areas even a little bit more than that. Most of it is already on the ground, but across northern Maine, that accumulating snow is going to fall for several more hours. Now, on the back side of this storm, as we have already seen temperatures are tumbling. Take a look at the frost advisories and freeze warnings extending all the way down into Florida, where parts of the east will wake up to temperatures at or below freezing. One piece of good news, though, Lester, as early as Monday afternoon, temperatures in that area should rebound back into the 50s and 60s.